my last company where I spent 12 years and it's a platform for product feedback. So I spent 12 years trying to figure out how to get better feedback from people. And the biggest thing I came away from is like, you should not be afraid of passionate feedback, even negative. You should be afraid of apathy. So right. you should be afraid when you send an email, how, what do you think of my product? And no one responds. No one cares either way. When people are mad, they're usually mad because your reality doesn't meet their expectation and they were excited about their expectation. And usually to your point, it's like, you just got to flip one or two bits and now they're, oh my gosh, this is exactly what I wanted, right? So, I, but I think that's hard. I actually think the dirty old secret of feedback is everyone says they want feedback. No one actually deep down wants feedback, right? Like, because if you go up and get feedback on your product, you already like your product. It's your baby. What are you going to, what are you going to hear? Like, you're probably not going to hear it's amazing. You're probably going to hear it sucks. And right. I don't know if I want, like, at this like core emotional human level, that's a hard thing to hear on something you're working hard on. So I think there's a lot of us in Foundryland that delude ourselves and be like, oh, I, I cherry pick some people and I got their feedback and we're doing great, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> totally. my little like echo chamber, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. Because I'm, yeah, yeah, it's the same reason that these big companies, you hire the consultant to tell you what you already, the, to, you know, validate decision you already wanted them to 